now the day of your admission for surgery and this is ward one where you will be admitted to. I'm going to take you through, sit you in the day room and sister will be with you shortly. Hello, my name's Judith Heckles, I'm sister on ward one at Freeman. You've come in today to have a procedure so what I'm going to do is take you along to a cubicle and there are a few things that we need to do, admit you, prepare you for theatre. I'll introduce you to the rest of the staff on the ward and I'll show you around the ward. You may come into a cubicle, which is a, a room just where one person's in. Now in the, in the cubicle, obviously we'll have the bed and the television, if you're wanting to watch the television while you're in. There's also a radio on here, sink. Now there's not a toilet in here, but there's a, to a separate toilet, which is next to the day room. Now you may, if you don't come into a cubicle, you would go into a bay where there's six beds, so you would be in with other patients. Once we bring you into the room, um, we have to go through an admission process, and that is going through all your details, your past medical history, um, any medical problems that you may have if you were a diabetic, anything like that, any medication that you take. Then we go through a checklist, which is for theatre, we just go through your observations, your blood pressure, we ask you when you last had anything to eat or drink, and we go through a checklist and fill all those details in. Once we've gone through all your details and filled in your checklist, we'll go through what you have to wear for your procedure. What you have to wear is one of these gowns. It's like a dressing gown, but it ties at the back so it goes on like that, ties at the back. You have to take all your clothes off including your underwear and then you also have to wear a pair of stockings. This is to try and prevent you getting problems with your legs during theatre and they're just like normal socks, go up to your knees and you wear those and they stay on for the whole of your admission and they get taken off once you go home. During the admission procedure, when we're doing your checklist, we'll also have to do your blood pressure and your pulse and your temperature. This is to make sure everything's fine, ready for you going to theatre. Um, this is the machine and the cuff goes round your arm and inflates up and this gives us all the readings on this monitor here. And that lets us know if everything's ready and it's safe to go ahead with your procedure. Once we've finished with all the details, all the nursing documentation and your blood pressure and your observations, the doctor will be the next person who comes to see you and he'll explain all about the procedure, get you to sign a consent form and then once he's finished, the anaesthetist will be coming to see you and he's the gentleman who puts you to sleep and he'll go through all the anaesthetic details with you and give you an opportunity to ask any questions that you're not sure about. After the operation, you'll be brought back to the ward, to the bed where you were when you started off. You'll be in bed and the nurses will come and check you and they'll do a regular check of your blood pressure and your pulse and your temperature again to make sure everything's fine following the operation. If you're well enough and you don't feel sickly, you'll be able to have something to eat and drink. You'll also have had some painkillers probably in theatre, but if you need painkillers on the ward, they'll be wrought up regularly for you. Once you feel well enough and you've been to the toilet to pass urine, you'll be able to go home. When you're ready to go home, we'll be pre preparing some dressings for you to take home and we'll go through all your dressing details and what you need to do and what's expected when you get home. You'll have an information sheet We'll also provide you with some painkillers um, unless you have any at home. This is to help because you do need painkillers for a few days just to make sure you're comfortable while you're at home. Um, we we'll, may arrange a district nurse um, unless you can manage your wound at home but we'll check that before you do go home to make sure you are managing. The doctor may come and see you after the procedure and he'll go through everything with you and all the follow-up care will be discussed with you before you leave the ward. During your stay there will always be staff around to help you, all the nurses and the doctors will generally be on the ward. This is the nurses station and you'll always find that there's doctors or nurses sitting here but there's always somebody around if you need assistance or you just want to ask somebody a question.